Hello YouTube, welcome back to Broken Legacy. We are up to chapter 11 and this is truly where the game's training wheels come off. This is the first difficulty spike of the game. Uh, a lot of people who have played this game tell me about how difficult they found it and uh, I agree with them. This is not easy on your first go because of the gimmick of the chapter. Now uh, to explain the gimmick requires a bit of plot explanation. So Leanne, the healer that disappeared in the previous chapter has actually been killed by the enemy. And her husband, Marcel, is not happy about that. In fact, in this chapter, he has been inflicted with a permanent berserk status. In this chapter, he will mercilessly go after anyone who gets in his way, player, enemy, it doesn't matter. So you've got to be careful that he not only does not get himself killed by attacking the enemy too quickly, you got to make sure that he doesn't hurt you as well. So that's part one of the difficulty, and there are also reinforcements coming from behind if you take too long to clear the chapter. That will also make it difficult. Also, you cannot get rid of his items. Uh, these are forced into his inventory, and you can't uh, take them out. Uh, they'll probably stay in his inventory, though, so hey, free items! <laughs> so I've already done all the preparing I need. The objective is to get everyone, including Marcel, past this red line within 10 turns if you want the maximum bonus experience, but you also have to do something about his Berserk status. So uh, we'll see if there's a way to deal with that. And there are also some high-powered dangerous enemies, like this Assassin right here. That's the first time we've seen this class. He can't use his one-hit kill ability on the player, which is very thank I'm very thankful for that. But he's also very fast, very strong. His weapon is weak, but that doesn't matter. He's got a lot of speed, so it'll double if you don't play around him correctly, and the boss is also guarded by a sniper. And the boss himself is our first stage with a new spell that he will drop if we manage to defeat him. I guess you could walk around him if you wanted to, because you could just go down this path right here. But anyways, let's get to the actual play. Um, let's see here, first we've got to deal with these guys. We've got a mage and some mercenaries, so I think I will just have uh, Kelsey go up front. Or is that a bad plan? I don't think it's a bad plan. I'll just uh, set her up with a javelin. And Kara can have a javelin too in case somebody wants to go after her. That should be alright. Also, Marcel's movement is reduced to three. So, you know, it's probably alright. You can probably stay ahead of him and uh, be safe for the most part. So Brianna is actually very close to getting her promotion, so we want to work on her a little bit. I gotta be careful because the archers are actually a little bit threatening. Alright, so here we go. These guys are nothing much to speak of. Uh, Brianna was evidently not that far behind on sword rank as I thought. She's up to B now. And Kelsey's gonna get her first level up. It is thankfully not a total blank, like in my previous attempt. If for some reason, she got a blank level. I had no idea that was possible. Let's see here. Okay, first we definitely want to get this guy out of the way, and then we can start moving a little closer. I'll go ahead and use Cullen to get rid of him. And everybody's taking damage, so... Um, Kara might be up to B in staves, if she heals enough. Now what to do with these three? The archer's something I've got to pay attention to, because obviously you don't want a flyer to end up in range of an archer. There are also flying enemies coming for us as well, but the good news is that Denton with the Wind Sword is actually a very potent combo. Because the Wind Sword, since it does magic damage... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is so awful. Uh, well, I've got three units now, so I guess I have to use the Wind Sword now. See, 15 damage against this fighter. Like, even with his low magic, his magic and his strength are equal, but the Wind Sword, since it attacks res, is actually really good. And it getting triple damage against the Flyers just adds to its utility, so... Yeah, I'm using the Thief as a combat unit. I know some people might think that's weird, but, you know. Uh, can the Drill Bow do it? Yeah, just double normally. 
and move up and heal. There's a reason Theodore is on this side of the map, by the way. It's actually pretty important. All right, so Kelsey's still got her move. So what should we do? We could... Uh, let's go over here. That should be safe. Right, so she will not double. She does not double this mercenary with a javelin. Got it. But the mage, I think she does. Oh, nice dodge. The arc for the javelin in this animation is actually just a teensy bit strange. Right. So, will a javelin do this? No, it will not. We'll just take him out normally. And, um... Yeah, I'm starting to think I have been neglecting Kara's sta uh, Lance rank. Her staff rank is fine. I've just been using her staff so much that she's almost a B, but she's a little bit behind on her spear rank. Can we lure in these two mages next? Uh, yeah, we totally can. Go here, use the javelin, and we're good. Ah, uh, Denton cannot reach this flying enemy. That was probably a mistake on my part. Mm, but Brianna can make it, can't she? Maybe I should just stay still and lure them in. Uh, nah, it's probably easier to just... Uh, get rid of one of them. Then you don't have to worry as much. Alright, so that archer is going to suicide on Abby. The fighter can't reach Abby. Which means that she only has to contend with this other archer. And the dragon rider. And the archers might go after another unit. So, let's put Brianna... Let's see. I'll put Brianna here. And then the others will just have to sit back and wait. Yeah, they're going for the unit that can't counterattack, of course. Oh, that's actually bad. But it's fine. Wow, so that's, that was actually a lot of units that could reach my guys. Alright, so, um, yeah, this is the power of Kelsey. She's one-rounding these mages. Like, even on the enemy phase. Well, actually, she missed that second hit. So that's... Ooh, ooh, that's not good. Just keep calling here. Alright, that mage is going for Abby again, but this time, she dodges. Dodges an 80, in fact. If only she had gotten that lucky in the previous attempt. Oh, come on, not Denton. No! Abby dodged an 80, but you got hit on a 36. Okay, attempt number four. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the first guy. Now Denton's in range. I can get rid of the second rider, so that's fine. Um, maybe... No, I should have given Brianna a javelin. I don't know why I keep forgetting to do that. It's kind of important for her to have a javelin in situations like that. Um, Jeez, can't kill these guys. Okay, he's gone. And, uh... Marcel's coming this way, so I better do something fast. See, I'm going to learn these mages. They all get killed on the enemy phase by Kelsey, so let's do that. Yeah, it's, I'm just a little bit frustrated because I keep losing to bad luck instead of difficult decision-making. There, that's better. Now we are past that enemy phase and can move on. I believe I already visited that village in one of my attempts, so... Abby gets rid of the archer. 
my archer gets rid of the mage, I'm going to use Adept. And Denton can finish this guy off. There we go. Does he gain a level off of that? Yeah, he does. More speed, more res. What an excellent thief. And we get Airblade. Actually, just in case I didn't actually get that weapon in any of my recordings yet, Airblade is a better win staff, and uh, Kara now has B rank in staves. So, we now need to worry about the, the sniper and the boss. Because we can lure in one of them without attracting the other. So let us first deal with these two enemies. The Sniper only has 23 attack and 12 agility. Cullen has 12 defense and 18 agility, so there's no way he's getting doubled. 12 defense and 23 attack, so 11 damage is what he will take. Now let's go ahead. He'll be safe. In fact, if Raymond has enough agility, then you could just, like... Yeah, actually, it's bad that Marcel is going over to the right side of the map, because I want him on the left. So, that's unfortunate. I've made some kind of mistake in my movements. Finally, we get a save. Jeez. And over here, we have the Assassin to deal with. And an ordinary fighter. At least I'm working through this map actually rather quickly. Alright, so moving one step closer will not attract the boss. Let's see if a Luna finishes off this sniper quickly enough. Uh, it does a good amount of damage. Can uh, Kara finish him? Yeah, no doubt. So I just have to forego my healing this turn. Unless there's a way... Uh, Luna with a short sword? No, just barely not enough. Let's do it anyways. I just wanted to break the short sword. Alright, Kara, I need you to not miss this 83. Okay, that's good. No, I didn't want to rescue! Ugh. Oh. Whatever. I mean, it's not like this mage can do anything right. Uh, how do we learn the assassin? He's got 19 agility and 18 attack. 16 agility and 14 defense. So it looks like uh, Brianna is the go-to girl. And we'll just wail on him when he gets here. In fact, I better have Denton go here. Can he fly over that wall? I hope he can fly over that wall. He really needs to be able to. <sighs> oh yeah, that's such a horrible amount of damage. Here come the flying enemy reinforcements, like I mentioned. Let's hope they attract Marcel away from my guys. You can't even mark his range. Alright, let's just get rid of that guy for now. Um, we could ignore that boss completely. No, you can't fly over this wall. What is wrong with this picture? You can shoot through the walls, but you can't fly over them? Uh, this looks safe. Maybe she'll crit. No, she... She did miss, though. Two times! Two times you missed with an 88! Oh my god. I gotta do that again? I gotta do that again, don't I? Alright, Brianna, please crit this. Uh, 11, and maybe the Wind Sword finishes him. Yes, it does. Oh my... Goodness. 
Who are you carrying? You are carrying Kara. Well, it's just as well we can heal Theodore. Uh, the only question is, what do we do with that boss? Do we just ignore him completely? Oh, that was lucky. Thank you, Helmet. Thank you very much. Uh... It looks like Marcel's gonna get into a fight with those guys. Alright, so the reason I wanted to get to this church very quickly is because you get the Pacify Staff. Let's just send that to storage, actually, because then uh, Theodore can pick it up. And, uh... Does he need to heal anybody? No, not really. I could move Kelsey here. Convoy, store, we don't need to unlock, take out... Pacify cures the infinite turn berserk status, so that's what we need to do to get Marcel back. I guess we'll fight the boss from here. It seems basically safe enough to do. Uh-oh. Alright. Th there's no way those guys have any chance against Marcel, so at least he's safe. In fact, if we just ignore this enemy for now, I think Marcel will go after it, so we could have Theodore sit here. I'm banking on Marcel attacking the Wyvern Rider, or the Dragon Rider, and I think that's what he'll do if nobody else is in range. Meanwhile, we can get to work on this boss... He's got 26 attack with that spark spell, and 12 agility, so we need to be looking at res, and uh, that's a really low amount of res for even Brianna. Denton can totally tank it, though. His res is high, though, so he can't use the wind sword. 12 agility, and he'll take 14 damage, and he won't get doubled. Uh, sure, let's do it. Anything to get him out of the picture a turn sooner. Because that village actually has a nice item in it. And we can always start the retreat. And like I thought, Marcel has gone after this guy. Will he get experience? He actually... Wait, he, he gets experience? I thought those enemies didn't give any experience. Oh, he's got a crit rate. But it's okay. Alright. We can Luna him... Uh, he's got that crit rate, so first things first, I have to fix Marcel. That's what that does. Oh, it happened again! Theodore gets B rank. And he loses his weapons? Oh. Oh, he cannot attack her. He's sad. Don't put a little smiley face there! How inappropriate, dude. Um, okay, got to pull him out of the way because there's a fighter. Uh, you've got two chances to crit him. See, this is tricky because that spark spell is giving him a higher crit rate. But not against Abby. A lot of guys need healing, though. Alright, we have to play it risky, I suppose. 12% is not that high. But he got it. I hate this chapter, I hate this music, and I hate how this boss has a crit rate. But... This time... Alright, this time I'm going to take out a better spear. This time I've got him. I lured him in with Raymond. And, uh, yeah. I lured him in with Raymond, I looned him, and then I did that. So, yeah. Kara is now the max level. And now we have to wait for her promotion before we, like, put any serious use into her again. And that's everybody at... <sighs>
forgot the village. You've got to be kidding me. I completely forgot. Okay, let's just go and get it. It is the stupidest item ever. It is a miracle charm. It is a consumable item that will save you from death once and only once. I am sick and tired of this chapter. I am sick and tired of this music. That took way longer than it should have. That was far more annoying than it should have been because of my horrendous luck. But, whatever. We are out of there and it is time for the next chapter. So when I am done with my preparations, I will see you for the next stage. Alright, that's my preparations over with. Hopefully the next chapter will not be so annoying. I don't really remember what chapter 12 is all about. Alright, so it is... Ah, I see. It is a green unit defense mission. You have to rush over to the green units and protect them until the map is over with. So we have two new units incoming, as long as Kara gets to talk to them, or we have them survive the map. The first is not currently on the map at the moment, but uh, there is this new pre-promoted assassin named Belinda, who will join us if she survives the mission, or we talk to her with uh, another character. She's got Vengeance, which adds the amount of HP she's lost to the damage she deals, which is pretty useful if you can manipulate her HP. And she's got the one-hit KO ability, which you can now trigger whenever you want, but it has a pretty huge cooldown compared to other skills. And aside from that, her bases are pretty good, aside from HP. It's pretty low for a level 15 promoted unit. Uh, anyways, there should not be much to this. Oh, here's our other new unit. It is Wilbert the Bard. And uh, of course, Bards have that nice, nice refresh ability that's always helpful no matter what the circumstance, unless he's got like a really low movement, but 5 movement is very decent. And he's the first light magic user, so now we have somebody who can uh, attack without ever having to deal with enemy defense. Of course, you'll probably just use him to play his harp. Always good to see a Bard with a harp instead of a little flute or whatever uh, other Bards have had. It's more common to see dancers in Fire Emblem. Anyways, there should not be a lot we have to do. There are some villages that we should probably get to and defend. And those forts look pretty suspicious as well. And we have a shop, which is good because we're running low on items and such. So, uh, do we need to bench anybody? Well, Marcel's forced onto the bench. So we should actually probably like deposit all of his items because they're not going to be any good in his inventory. At least we can pull them out of storage if we need to. Alright, let's get going. Nine turns is the goal. And we just have to kill a single boss, huh? Well, that would be him over here. He's not moving at the moment, but he's got a magic flame spear in addition to his broadsword. And he's got a skill. Ah, it's the Accost skill. Everybody loves that skill, am I right? Apparently everybody does. Alright. Snow is actually looking really good. It's nice to have a refreshing palette for the map. All of the map tiles for this game are actually custom. They are not the default uh, tiles that SRPG Studio uses. Well, I can see that these are edits of the defaults, but they are very nice edits. So, there's that. Alright, we just need to get everybody moving, and that classic refreshability. It even gives 15 experience points instead of just 10. Alright, so all the enemies are just going to be moving forward. The green units are just going to sit there and defend. And this first village will give us a longbow, which is nice and useful. And at the shop we have Franziska's, which is pretty helpful. We can also get our own pylums, broadswords. These are some nice new weapons. Let's see... I would like another Mend, I will take a Francisca, and a Broadsword to go with it. And I'm feeling pretty thrifty, so how about two Pylums? And one more Francisca for the road. Right, that should be enough. Car is at max level, so I actually want to avoid having her fight too much. But Brianna is very close to capping out, and ooh, Denton's got a B rank in swords. I'm so glad I decided to use him seriously. He's turning out very, very well. Uh, I guess we have to give this kill to Kara, even though it means absolutely nothing. Just because I wanted to get somebody out of the way so I could get at this archer. Very, very close to the max. 
Oh, I could have used the Bard to play for somebody. Oops. That would have allowed them to get in closer and take the kill, but whatever. This map music is not too bad, I would say. Or maybe that's just coming off of the horrible, horrible map theme for the previous map. That should not have been... Like, I know you wanted to play sad music over the whole thing, but come on. Alright. The Veteran Proof. I believe that is a Master Seal. It will work on anybody who needs a promotion, which is good, because I actually found out that I had missed an Elysian Whip, if you can believe it. In the chapter with the Green Pegasus Knights, uh, the one that Kelsey joins in, if all of the Pegasus Knights survive, then you get an Elysian Whip. I had no idea that was the case, so I actually wound up missing it completely. But um, that should not be a big deal, because I actually don't remember there being all that many flying units at all. So it's probably not a huge deal. Yeah, I can see that the idea of this chapter is that it's so wide open that you have a lot that you need to pay attention to. Alright. If we keep it like this, we should be okay. Because they're still going to be attracted to the green units because of how much weaker they are. Uh-oh. Okay, she's safe for now. That was way too big a risk, though. Right, where is... No, she's going... She's going, like, all the way over here that you're putting yourself in very da much danger, green unit. <sighs> all right. Gotta break out the partisan so I can clean up these enemies a little bit more, but there's no way to get rid of all of them. Yeah, I guess Abby should have been much, much closer to the right here. Ah, what do I do? I can't put Wilbert in danger, either. Ugh. Like, there's no archers or anything, so this should be safe. Let's refresh helmet. And there's actually a pallet in here, too. Oh! Uh, I'll just use the halberd. Oh, this won't even be a kill, though. So... Well, he dodged. That's fine. If they all run into his halberd, I'm totally okay with that. Alright. First, definitely need to heal. It's not a huge heal, though. I'm hoping for a crit here. It'll be very tough to get rid of him without... Mm. Okay. Well, we just got a really nice spell, so... Yeah, if this hits, everything's fine. Just tempting fate like a madman, aren't I? That was the spark animation, by the way. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. He's he's actually going to hit Kelsey. I can't believe this. Okay, definitely need some more help on the right. Oh, is this... Oh, goody. Well, nice dodge. But we're breaking out the siege tones now. He goes for Theodore, that's good. That means both of them can't go for Brianna. If both of them had gone for Brianna, they would have actually nailed her. So, thank you, Theodore, for being a magic tank. Belinda's still doing very good. One of them has gone for... Okay, he dodged. But he's actually going to... Don't you just love that animation? He plays on his little guitar, and it's, like, um... Makes the, enemy, what makes the enemy die, basically. So it looks like that was the only guy that could hit Wilbert, so... Lucky us. Lucky us. He dodged. I can't believe that. I guess bad luck is followed up by good luck, it seems. Oh, these guys... Oh, dear. Please hit. And then it just gets taken away from me anyways. Alright. You want to know what I did this time? I put this sniper to sleep. He's been annoying me this entire time. So now, with him asleep, I can very easily just dart over to the Siege Tome user and completely... Should have had one of those pylums. Uh, did I remember to purchase items? Yes, I did. I should have had one of those pylums ready. 
Oh, but Brianna could totally do it if I trade her one of the javelins, because she needs a replacement one of those anyways. Yes, yes! Die, Siege Tome user, die! Ugh. That's lucky that wasn't a light mage. You know, I've just been thinking, by the way, that this white uh, snow field, it's way too bright for my eyes after that last chapter we had. Jeez. Wait, how did you miss? You missed? How did you miss? You had 100! 128... I don't even want to know. I, I, I really don't really want to know. Ugh. Fine, I'll use uh, Foresight yet again. I must have miscalculated. I have no idea what's going on. I think... I think I'm just starting to, like... You know, I want to say that I just have horrible luck when I'm on camera. But when I'm off camera, it's actually a lot worse. Alright, just get rid of this guy. Abby's got her A rank back. We will soon be able to see what the village is holding. Time to do the same things over again. I, 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 you know, I'm grateful that you're able to save every five turns, but I, I'm not actually uh, sure that solves the problem of having to repeat stuff. Like, every time you lose somebody. Like, it um, allows you to play and repeat less. Now the boss is on the move, and the sniper guy has um, gotten his uh, moves back, so we have to be... We have to be very quick now, don't we? Ah, oh, that flame spear. He's got 21 attack with it. Jeez. That was a mistake, going after the spear user like that. Luckily, I have a backup. I I can finally make use of rescuing. This kind of rescuing. Just make sure that I target the correct unit. Good. Now she's out of danger. That was not worth using up a rescue staff in order to uh, do that, but you know. So the sniper is still a worry... Uh, I guess we get a kill for uh, Wilbert. I don't know if he's actually got any good combat stats, but we'll see. Defense and res is okay, I suppose. So I had to use up Foresight on the previous turn, so if that sniper decides to go this way, then I think it'll be fine. Those guys can definitely handle a single sniper. Luna, just so I avoid the counterattack, and... I should have gone with Abby first. Do this too. And move Abby behind her. And what does Ye Old Village have? It is the second Guiding Ring. That's fine, I suppose. We only really have two mages, though. Raymond and Theodore, at this point. So, I guess that's everybody. Let's see what the enemy does. The sniper went where I wanted him to, so that's very good. And the boss is moving, so as soon as he's killed, it's chapter over. So let's first get rid of this guy. Time to use the spark. See if it gets us a crit. It does not, but... No, he missed... Did... He missed completely? How is this happening? Um... Who's got the higher hit rate? Probably Raymond. Yeah, Raymond had the higher hit rate. I just... I just don't know what's going on sometimes. Oh, Denton took a hit back there. That's fine. Alright. I only really care about this boss, so... There's not going to be any way to avoid getting hit by him, is there? Because he's got a ranged weapon. 
he would at least be inclined to go after somebody with, um... Somebody with lower, like, chance to survive, so... Will this work? No, it won't, because then... <sighs> Alright, what we can do is we can go... Oh, uh, helmets can rescue her out of the way, so that's fine. So he should move in closer, and then we can take him out with probably Kara, because I just want the map to end at this point. Or I could redo this turn over and over, because now that um, now that these are the only enemies left, I suppose I could try and kill all of them. But they don't drop anything, and I want that Flame Spear, so it's go time. Um, who's going to take him out? Uh, 43 HP is pretty big. Maybe it's Helmet's time to shine, finally, with his halberd. Uh, he... Yeah, I think that's what we have to do. Let's, uh, first make sure he's not rescuing anybody, and then use the halberd. This has a chance to miss, but it's okay, because we can, um, we can just reload. So, uh, waiting for him to get closer was a good move. And I think Brianna has earned a well-deserved promotion, so after this she will probably be ready for it. Yeah, that's for sure. I'll just give her the rest as bonus experience, because she doesn't have, like, a lot of... She has most of her good stats capped anyways. Let's let her keep the, uh, Flame Spear. Just one turn slower than what I needed for the maximum amount. But the good news is we can take all of that experience. I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. I am going to take that bonus experience and put it onto Brianna. Oh, you can actually, like, put, uh, like, over, tw over, like, you can put more EXP than she needs to hit the max. And that will actually cause the EXP that goes over the max to be wasted. So that's probably something that should be kept in mind. Just HP? Really? Did you have, like, everything capped? Oh well. It is finally time to promote Brianna. We are going to use... We do have a... Oh, the Veteran Proof. That's what it does. It increases the level cap. So we do have a Knight's Crest. So your options are Paladin or Great Knight. Great Knight has better stats and an extra weapon type. A very good weapon type. And Paladin has plus one move. Yeah. I think I know what I'm going for. Great Knight all the way. I always make Great Knights in Sacred Stones. There is no reason to make a Paladin. Don't even think about telling me the extra move outweighs the use of axes. Alrighty, so we promoted Brianna. We cleared Chapter 12. And next time it will be Chapter 13 that we're dealing with. So we'll see what's up with that chapter next time. Later.